Derek Sims. Courtney Hughes. Ashley Darno. Jennifer Robinson. Ryan Asher. William again. Good morning, everybody. As a kid growing up in the 1980s and 90s, I was lucky enough to watch some of the greatest athletes to ever play in sports. I loved watching and playing sports from an early age, football, baseball, and especially basketball. Players such as Magic Johnson and Larry Bird were two of the biggest names and greatest athletes that the National Basketball Association had ever seen. But there was one athlete that stood above them all for me and millions of others, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Michael's impact on the game was profound in many ways as he crafted his game from a young age with hard work, determination, and God-given abilities. He was unlike anyone who ever played the game before him and is immortalized today as arguably the greatest athlete to ever play professional sports. Michael Jordan will always be remembered and revered for his professional playing career with the Chicago Bulls, his impact on the sports marketing world, and his time as an NBA owner. Michael and his brothers learned to love and play sports from their father from an early age, especially baseball and basketball. According to Encyclopedia.com, as a freshman at Wilmington, North Carolina's Laney High School, Michael tried out for his varsity basketball team and was eventually cut due to his diminutive size. He went on to become a McDonald's All-American as a senior and would be recruited heavily by numerous college basketball programs including Duke, North Carolina, South Carolina, Syracuse, and Virginia Universities. Michael decided to accept the basketball scholarship from Dean Smith and the University of North Carolina. As a freshman at UNC, Michael wasted little time becoming a major focal point on the team. He was named ACC Freshman of the Year and his iconic game-winning jump shot against Georgetown in the 1982 National Championship game is a shot that is immortalized in college basketball lore. According to notable biographies, Jordan would describe that game-winning shot as a defining moment in his career. Michael would eventually forego his senior season at UNC and decided to enter the NBA draft. He would be selected third overall by the Chicago Bulls. After accumulating many individual awards and honors during his first four seasons, the emergence of teammate Scottie Pippen and the talents of coach Phil Jackson brought Michael to his ultimate goal, winning an NBA championship. In the 1990-91 season, Michael and the Bulls set a then team franchise record of 61 games during the regular season and would make it to the NBA Finals for the first time. The Bulls squared off against previous champions Magic Johnson and the Los Angeles Lakers in the Finals and in the sweep of four games defeated the Lakers and Bulls finally became champions. The Bulls would go on to win two more consecutive titles, marking a three-peat of championships for Michael and his team. During the summer of 1992, Michael and a team of the greatest NBA players assembled to take part in the Summer Olympics. Known as the Dream Team, Michael and the United States squad steamrolled through the competition on their way to winning the gold medal. According to ESPN.com, the Dream Team is widely considered by most, if not all, experts of the game as the greatest team to ever be assembled. Michael Jordan was now a superstar. He was the face of the league and the most recognizable name in all the sports world. The popularity of basketball exploded during this time, not just here in the United States, but because of the Olympic team all across the world. Michael's image was everywhere now, in the media and throughout his endorsements, including Gatorade, McDonald's, and Nike. His brand of Air Jordan Nikes are still the highest grossing athletic shoes in the world today, a dozen years since he last played a basketball game. According to a story done by Darren Rovell for CNBC, in 2009, Nike's Air Jordans topped $1 billion in annual revenue for the first time. But with the pressure of the world on his shoulders from his celebrity status and the ability to not be able to cope from his father's untimely death, Michael did the unthinkable and retired from the game of basketball during his prime in 1993. He would live out a childhood dream and sign with the Chicago White Sox's minor league baseball team as a way to distance himself from the game of basketball and the media pressure. After a couple of seasons playing baseball and with the impending lockout looming in the major leagues, Michael announced his comeback to the NBA in March 1995. The following year, Michael and the Bulls would set a then league record 72 game win wins during the 1995-96 season and would go on to win their fourth championship. As before, they would win two more consecutive titles, marking another three-peat of championships and six overall titles. Being retired for over 12 years now, Michael Jordan is still synonymous with the game of basketball and the NBA, as in 2013, he became the majority owner of the Charlotte Hornets. He's the first former player to ever be a majority owner of an NBA team. He has become one of the richest athletes to ever live, and according to an article retrieved from Forbes.com, the Jordan brand grossed an estimated $2.25 billion in 2013, earning his heiress some $90 million. But his most valuable asset is his stake in the Charlotte Hornets, which is worth more than $500 million. Last month, according to Forbes.com, Michael Jordan became one of sports' first billionaires. Six NBA titles, 
five Most Valuable Player awards, six-time NBA Finals MVP. These are just some of the numerous accomplishments that was achieved by arguably the greatest basketball player and athlete we might witness in our lifetime, Michael Jordan. His passion for the game, work ethic, drive, and determination set the bar high for success throughout his playing career in high school, college, and the NBA. He maintains his status as one of the most recognizable faces in all the sports world through his globally successful shoe line and ownership of the Charlotte Hornets. To this day, whenever I pick up a basketball to go outside and shoot hoops, I remember as a kid growing up emulating Air Jordan as I, like many others, strive every day to be like Mike. Thank you. Eric Sims. Courtney Hughes. Ashley Darnell. Jennifer Hamilton. Ryan Asher. Liam again.